Hello lovely butterflies, welcome back to a journal among the week 168. It's the last double spread in this journal and I got these out which are a new discovery and a new obsession. Other than knowing that I want to use these, I have no idea where I'm going with this. But... That's the fun of traveling. but I am going to water it down to make it easier to spread it out. Going in with graffiti this time, just to add an edge. white chalky finish and I want to soften everything down and push it to the background. white charcoal
And now I'm going to add some color using Neo Colors too, which are water soluble. over now so don't despair Going back in with the charcoal, as these are water soluble, I want to combine them with my new colors. My Driving Me Circles large version stencil and I'm making a mask out of a piece of kitchen roll. And then I'm going in with some white chalky finish using a sponge. Oh, stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I want to continue building layers, but this is all rather reactive, except for the white um, chalky finish paint that I have going on and the gesso. So I'm, I'm going to fixate this using a thin layer, fastly applied, of ultra matte varnish. Such a wonderful delight. Everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow I still have all these January um, A Layer A Day Challenge stickers So I might as well use them You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm honest Going 
going around it using a charcoal pencil. I want that black to be way more intense, so I'm going to use my Intense pencil, which is also water soluble. And I really want this black to be intense. some stamping using one of my um, London New York stamps which has a very tiny scripture on it and I'm just going to use black archive ink no block as I want my stamping to be irregular So this is one I stamped for my previous um, Journal Monday video and I didn't stamp it right. It was way too low. So I'm going to trim this just a tiny bit.
Now to decide what I want to do with this little fellow. I'm just going to spray him with Rusty Hinge from the Distress Sprays, just giving this some water first. Let's see if a little red heart would do the trick. I still have a tiny bit of red paint over here. This is a Stampatique inspired little heart. Now if I could find my scissors, which are here. So this is a heart inspired by Daniel Torrent, who designs stamps for Stampatique. Seems like forever Since we've been together So I chose a wording earlier on from one of my sticker sets from the number two sticker set. So these are always available in my web shop and I wanted to use, I think it was Vision. Yes, here it is. Now this is obviously going to need some color because the white is just way too harsh compared to all the rest. So first I'm going to stick this down and then I'm going to give it some color. To make my little heart pop from the page, I'm going to give it a tiny bit of triple thick glaze to really make it look um, 3D on the spread. It's been so as for this one, I'm going to give it some grey using Neo Color, just to blend it a little bit into the background. It's almost done, but it's still lacking some important of my go-to's from this moment, which are my number stamps. So let's just add those. And this time, so I have three sizes which I can pick from. I have a big one, a medium one, and a small number one. And I'm going to start with the 
big one. So when I say big one, I mean the size of the numbers, not the length of it, because the other ones are longer. Going in with a black Posca pen. Adding some black here so that it fits the rest. This is graffiti and I just want to add some darker shading. I still want it to be darker, so I'm going to do the same thing, but this time with the charcoal. Going back in with a white Posca pen just to highlight these little circles. Getting ready to take my photos, I realized what my spread was missing and that is exactly what I'm going to add now. That is if I can find a clip that fits. Wow, this is getting wonky. I just want to add some splatters. Just some very quick That's it for today's spread. Thank you so, so much for spending this moment with me. I hope you liked today's video. If so, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. In the end credits of this video, you will see a photo of my face appear. If you click on that, it will take you directly to the subscribe page. And there's so many more videos to discover. There are so many more to come. So I will see you back here next time. Meanwhile, don't forget to put down a layer a day in your journal. Butterfly kisses.